does feeling afraid or feeling your fear but not experiencing it actually release any fear at all? <laughs> so I think we need to clarify what this person's asking a little bit, don't we? Well, firstly, you can see how the person thinks. Yeah. The person thinks that feeling is, is not experiencing. Yeah. What? <laughs> like, no. When you're truly experiencing an emotion, you are fully feeling it. You yeah. are fully experiencing it and feeling it. Yeah. So what she's doing is thinking about her feelings yeah. or remaining in the feeling or acting in the feeling without feeling it. Yes. That's what she's doing. And that's very, very different than experiencing it. And it's very different than feeling it. Yeah. Feeling it is the same as experiencing it. Yes. So, so there's already a, a mistaken belief in the question. Yeah. In the question, she's basically saying that you can feel something without experiencing it. No, you can't. Yeah. You can't feel it without experiencing it. And if you're trying to convince yourself that you are feeling it without experiencing it, then you're not, you're not being honest with yourself. Yeah. When you experience the emotion, that's when you're feeling it. Until then, you're not really feeling it. You're just sitting on it. Yeah. You're just living in it, sitting on it, and it's locked up inside of you. She needs to allow herself to look at all of the material regarding how the human soul functions. Mm -hmm. and, and so that way she'll be able to understand that actually experiencing the emotion is feeling the emotion. Yeah, and what we often call feeling an emotion <laughs> is just having a sense of it but preventing it, overwhelming us. Of isn't course, it? it's fighting against it's, it. It's sort of, oh, there it is, no, 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 no. And we exactly. say we're feeling sad or afraid or angry. No, no. But when you're we're... truly feeling sad, you'll have tears running down <laughs> your face. When you're truly feeling happy, you'll be laughing and smiling and so forth. When you're truly feeling angry, you'll be yelling and screaming and carrying on. When you're truly feeling shame, you feel really this hot flushes of shame come over you. When you're truly feeling emotions, you have all of these physiological and verbal experiences yeah. when you're truly feeling it. And you let them go. You let them happen. You don't judge them. You just let them flow. That's what happens when you're truly experiencing and feeling an emotion. <laughs> Now, she's basically saying in this question, isn't she, that you can feel afraid or feel your fear without experiencing it. No, you can't. You're just sitting on it. You're avoiding it. You're avoiding your fear. You're avoiding, avoiding feeling afraid. You're running away from it. You're trying to suppress it. You're trying to resist it. That's what you're trying to do. So look at all of, those, all of that material on how the human soul functions about resistance, suppression, and, and, you know, this kind of stuff about how one emotion, you know, a good emotion can't enter you unless a bad one leaves you. And all these principles she needs to understand. And, and an emotion can't leave you unless you experience and feel it. They're, they're the same thing. Yeah. You know, so she, she's not feeling the emotion. So She's got an awareness the emotion exists within her and she's petrified of it. Yeah. And she doesn't want to feel it. And so then if we rephrase the question mm -hmm. as it was perhaps intended. No, it wasn't intended. But go on, rephrase it as you okay. intend. <laughs> oh, well, whatever, as well, I Well, I feel quite strongly that there's this, there's this belief in this person that, that you can do something magical to experience your fear rather than feeling it. Yeah, <laughs> I feel that they're really asking, does me having a sense of my, my fear or an intellectual awareness of my fear actually release any fear at all? And I think That's, I've already clearly yeah. answered that question over and over again in all of these presentations. Yeah. No, if you have an intellectual awareness of your fear, you are not feeling it. You are not experiencing it. Therefore, you will never release from you. Yeah. What, and it's most of the people with regard to fear that ask this kind of question. And the reason why, most people do not want to feel the emotion of fear. Mm -hmm. The emotion of fear is an uncomfortable emotion to feel. It mm -hmm. is. It's one of the worst emotions to feel. Mind you, there are other emotions that can be just as bad to feel, like sexual shame, for example, is a pretty hard emotion to feel too. There are some emotions, though, that are just more difficult to feel than others uh, because of their power, yeah. the, the, how strong they are. And fear or terror is one of those emotions. But the answer is still the same. It's just an emotion mm -hmm. that you can feel. God designed your soul to feel it. There is no single emotion you could ever feel that's going to damage your soul. What damages your soul and what damages you psycho psych psychologically is not feeling. That's what damages you. That's what your attempts to shut down and, and keep under control your emotions is what damages you. Mm -hmm. 
It's not the expression of these emotions, the feeling of these emotions that damages you. It's the suppression and the resistance to the emotion that damages you. Mm -hmm. And this is why I recommend this person has a good look at how the human soul functions and looks at all of that material that we've presented as FAQs. Mm. 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 I think a lot, of, a lot of us want, because of the nature of fear, because, as you said, it feels unpleasant, because most people, especially women, have never had the experience of being overwhelmed by fear their entire life. Yeah. Um, and then others and are then, fear junkies, like men, some men are fear junkies and they can't handle grief. You know, it just yeah. depends on what we've been brought up with as to what kinds of emotions we generally don't handle. <laughs> yeah. So because of that, then a lot of times, um, because of the nature of fear, a lot of people then want to want to say, oh, but... I think I felt a little bit of that. Did that help, you know? Because And that's just a symptom of the fear, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. the feeling of, of when faced with the truth that we're going to have to feel this to get it out of us, mm. a lot of us then go, oh, hang on, I had a little sense of it, uh, you know, yeah. did that help? And really... And if you're asking, did it help? It didn't help. Yeah, because <laughs> you and know. Feel that's what this person's asking. Yeah, yeah. you you know when going through when a, when you go through a causal emotion of fear or or grief or some other related causal emotion, there is a sense of relief and peace afterwards. Mm -hmm. And when you last for God's love to enter you at that time, just you get God's love into you, and it's just such a peaceful place that you know you've done something different. Yeah, you know for certain. You don't need to ask anybody. Mm. You'll know for yourself that you've done it. Mm -hmm. And, and probably many times for the first time you'll, <laughs> you'll notice, you know, when you first begin this process and you have that one experience. It's getting to the point of having that one experience. And to do that, we've got to get through our addictions and we've got to get through our denial and our suppression. And that, that is the hard work. The hard work is getting through your layers of denial, getting into your layers of addictions, getting through your layers of addictions and actually beginning to feel your fear. Once you get into beginning feeling your fear, things can progress more rapidly after then because you, you will now have some experiences where you release some fear and the next day you'll sleep like a baby, <laughs> as the saying goes. You'll have a peaceful day. Your law of attraction will instantly show you, the law of attraction itself will instantly show you that your soul has changed. Things around you will respond differently to you. Everything around you will demonstrate to you. You've actually made a change. If you've got to ask the question, have I changed? You probably haven't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably haven't. And so you have yet to get through your addictions or your denial. And so I'd suggest for someone who's asking this kind of question, look, look at your denial and look at your addictions. That's the place for you to start. Mm 